Hey, this is Andy. God's grace is all around us, and the next couple of weeks we're going to be taking a look at how we can see God's grace in our lives right outside our own front door. So let's take a look. If somehow you missed it, it's the harvest. If you haven't had to sit behind a combine or a tractor hauling in grain, you must not get out very much. Farmers are reaping the grain from the fields, and the last of the fruits and vegetables from people's gardens are in now. It's pretty amazing that every year this happens and the earth produces another bounty. The farmers work hard planting and tilling and harvesting, but it is God that makes things grow. And God's grace is shown in the harvest. It is a grace that rains down on everyone, just as it says in the Bible, he causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends the rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. So neither he who plants nor he who waters is anything, but only God who makes things grow. The man who plants and the man who waters have one purpose, and each will be rewarded according to his own labor. Psalm 104 says, He makes springs pour water water into the ravines. It flows between the mountains. They give water to all the beasts of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. The birds of the air nest by the waters. They sing among the branches. He waters the mountains from his upper chambers, and the earth is satisfied by the fruit of his work. He makes grass grow for the cattle and plants for man to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. Wine that gladdens the heart of man, oil to make his face shine, and bread that sustains his heart. God's sustenance goes beyond just the food that the earth produces. God sustains our hearts and our souls. He rains down mercy on us when we're dry. He causes us to grow through trials. He makes us produce fruit by the work of his spirit. And he calls us to plant seeds of grace in the lives of others. Jesus said, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. God, thank you so much for your grace in the harvest. <laughs>